Almost doing things. Almost doing things. There's a girl here and she's almost here. Almost. I'm, I'm lucky to be signed with uh, Blue Note because I, I, I get to indulge my true passion, which is jazz. Let's try a little bit of me again. I bless the day I found you. I want to stay around you. I knew Mark's work as a writer, uh, principally, and we heard some of the things that he was writing and doing, and we thought that this could really be a very fresh uh, approach, you know, for Blue Note. He's got that terrific voice that uh, has a signature. That's big secret. Real artists have a signature with their voice, you know. Whether they're an instrumentalist with a musical voice that's distinctive or whether they're a singer, and he's got that. I did that pop thing for years and years and years, and now I'm here. You know, when my contemporaries were listening to Bob Dylan and, and the Beatles, which I listened to, I was also listening to Billie Holiday and Sarah Vaughan and Coltrane. So never leave me lonely. When Rod Stewart came along, covered him with Rhythm of My Heart, that put Mark right back on track again. Recording really didn't matter at that point. His songwriting was a skill that he was working on. It's nice to see Mark back in the studio. Now, with the signing to Blue Note, uh, it's perfect timing. It's an opportunity while they're expanding for his kind of songwriting to get out there into the world. Little we are recording this record much like um, these records have been recorded for years and years and years. Uh, we're going in with live musicians, we're cutting off the floor, instruments are leaking into the microphones of other instruments and everything has a kind of mushy togetherness and and a single environment quality to it. Let it be me. The wonderful thing about doing doing vocal takes with with jazz pieces is that, is that every take can be different. Tell me you love and you can play with it, and you can reinterpret it, and you can get inside it in such interesting ways that that, that is the beauty of it for me. So I just go off. If you must cling to someone now and forever. He's very poetic. You know, his lyrics read almost as poetry. And there's uh, a dark side that I, I'm very attracted to. And, uh, and he says those things really well. And he says them with sophistication and with musicality. He's very laid back and relaxed. I think that's a very important. I mean, you know, especially when you're in big studios like this where you know, it costs a certain amount to be here, and it's easy to get concerned with, oh my God, the clock is ticking, we've got to get this done. And there wasn't any of that feel in the studio. It was just very creative, relaxed, and, uh, and uh, it was really enjoyable. Flirting with this disaster became me. It named me as a fool. I've been in this business much longer than I thought I was going to be. When I, when I reached 30, I thought, I better put it together here. It's going to be over in six months. Have you ever played this piano before? Yeah. And uh, I'm in my 50s now, and I still feel like I have the juice for this business. And music keeps revealing itself to me. Almost.
just blue.